friends, welcome back to Little Blessed Nest. My name is Stephanie. If you're new here today, we are once again going to be working on my kitchen island. I've been living with the evergreen fog for a little over a week now and it's just not doing it for me. <laughs> it looks different colors and different lights. I've told you guys that before and sometimes of the day it looks like a mint green for some reason and I just am not digging that. And I read all the comments and comments on Instagram and some of you said you liked the evergreen fog. A lot of you said you preferred the other color. And you said it doesn't really have to be matchy matchy with my rug. And I know that, I don't know. I wasn't thinking about a darker shade blending with it and kind of providing a little bit of contrast. But you guys mentioned that. And that made sense to me and it made it click. And I'm like, okay, I did like the darker green better. I only picked the evergreen fog because of the rug. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna repaint this island in the dried time. And I really think it's going to look much better. Also, I went to Lowe's and found some new knobs to put on it. And I think they're gonna look a lot better with the darker green. I took some footage at Lowe's while I was there. So I'm gonna share that with you here in a moment. Before we jump into the video, I do wanna take a moment to thank Earth Breeze for continuing to support my channel. I really love this product. I've been sharing it with you for quite a while now. This is the only laundry detergent that I use. I've even got my mom using it now. She loves it as well. So super easy to use. You don't have to carry those big laundry jet detergent jugs around anymore. If for whatever reason you haven't seen this before, Earth Breeze makes laundry detergent eco sheets. And I'll open it up and show you here. It looks a lot like a dryer sheet, only they're a little smaller. But how cool is that? This little sheet here will wash an entire load of laundry. If you have a smaller load, you can just tear this in half. Well, that wasn't quite half, but <laughs> right about there. You can tear it in half and you can just use this half to wash a small load of laundry. Now, if you have a big, really soiled, oversized load of laundry, then you would just wanna go ahead and use two of these sheets. You guys already know I don't have a lot of storage space in my kitchen, so I love that I can slide this down into my little basket. This package contains 30 sheets and it can do up to 60 loads of laundry. Earth Breeze works with warm and cold water and it's also safe for all machines, even the high efficiency ones. Doesn't make a mess and spill everywhere, get all over your washer, and it really just dissolves so quickly. So I'm gonna show you that in this bowl of water. I noticed a lot of comments last month when I shared Earth Breeze on my channel. A lot of you have already tried this product. A lot of you are using it regularly. I believe in this product, so I have no problem asking you to share your experience with it just to let everybody else know who might be on the fence what you think of Earth Breeze. With Earth Breeze, you get an eco-responsible laundry detergent that's delivered to your home. It'll come to your mailbox in a package like this. They make it very simple for you to start your subscription. You just choose the scent that you want, choose your delivery date. It's a flexible delivery option. You can choose when you get your next batch and you can pause and cancel at any time. Did you know that over 700 million jugs are thrown away every year from laundry detergent? Think about how much that is, how much plastic. The packaging with Earth Breeze, it's not made of plastic or anything like that. In fact, when you're finished with them, you can just rip this up, throw it right into the recycle bin. You're not adding to all of that plastic in the world. One of the things I really love about Earth Breeze is that they give back to their community. For every pack of Earth Breeze that is sold, they donate 10 loads of laundry to charities, nonprofits, and shelters. And I think that is wonderful. I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but laundry detergent is one of the most requested items from most charities. I know that when I use my Earth Breeze Eco Sheets, I am gonna pull this laundry out of the dryer and it's going to be fresh and clean. If you're somebody who's wanting to give it a try, you just go to earthbreeze.com slash LBN and that's gonna give you 40% off of your subscription. I went by Lowe's to look for some new cabinet hardware. I knew that I wanted a gold tone. They didn't really have a lot of gold ones to choose from, but I did really like these right here and it's the color gold that I want. I, I think it's called a champagne gold. It's not like brassy, it's more more of a white gold, I guess you could say. I'm not really sure. But as you can see by my old handle here, it looked terrible, but I brought it along with me just to make sure that the holes lined up correctly and it was the right size. 
I didn't realize how much these things were going to cost. It doesn't seem like a lot when you're buying one, but when you have to buy enough for all your cabinets, it did add up quickly. And I did have people comment that I should spray paint mine, and I've done that before, and it just didn't hold up, so I wanted to go ahead and get some good ones. Now I'm looking for some trim to put on my cabinet doors. I've showed you before, it's just a plain door, and I want to add trim around the outside edges of them just to make them look more like cabinets that you would purchase from somewhere. So I found this general purpose pine lattice board. There's just really thin strips. I'm trying to decide if I want to go with this one or the one that's a little wider. Um, I'm thinking they're kind of narrow doors, so I'm thinking I probably should go with the smaller one. What's interesting to me is that the regular one, the unfinished one, is $12.98, but the primed one is $8.98. So even though I'm gonna paint it a different color, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with the primed one, obviously, since it's less expensive. I'm not really sure how many I'm gonna need. I'm just gonna go ahead and get one for each door. There's four doors on my island, so I'm gonna grab four of these. And yeah, let's hope that this works. It's meant for lattice, like, um, that's what it says, general purpose pine lattice. So I think that this would work great. It was a beautiful day on this day that I went to Lowe's. It was sunshiny. It was almost 70 degrees outside. The birds were singing. All of these beautiful flowers. I really loved this yellow one with the purple on the inside. I probably will end up getting some of these, but we're still expe expecting a little cold weather here, so I don't want to go ahead and buy anything that might die. So I'm holding off on buying anything, but ugh, I want to so bad. <laughs> I'm so excited for spring and to get started working on my patio again. I just can't wait. It's amazing how much sunshine and the birds singing and being around flowers and nature just lifts your spirit. When I'm looking at flowers, I'm always drawn to pink <laughs> every time. I thought the pink with those white ones at the bottom would be really pretty. And how gorgeous are these orange poppies? So pretty. These were beautiful also. I did pick up a few pavers to put in the little area between um, on each side of my sidewalk. I think I'm going to go with some of this also this year. I'm going to plant a lot of different things that I haven't planted before. Um, I was also checking out their pots. They had some on clearance. I thought these little bunnies were the cutest thing, but there is no way in the world I would pay $44 for it. <laughs> Maybe 10 Definitely not $44. Well, let's just say $45. That's going to be a big negative. So I measured out the first cabinet door and got my measurements and I cut all of those. So now all I'm doing is basically just using this as a template and marking it so I can just cut them all at one time without having to measure each one. Usually works out good. Let's hope it does this time as well. Um, get my safety glasses on and we will cut the rest of these strips. At first I was just marking one and then cutting it and then marking the next one and then finally I got smart enough to just mark them all at one time and cut them and that made it go a lot quicker. I'm just taking each strip and putting them on the very edges of the cabinet. Everything fit together really well. I had a couple of tiny little gaps that I'll have to fill in with some wood filler, but for the most part, it all went really well. 
I made sure to change out the brads in my brad nailer here to the smaller ones so that they don't go all the way through the door because typically I use longer brads um, but I made sure to use the right ones I always check to make sure you're using the right materials for the job um, and these went on really easy I could have used wood glue and wood glued them on but this worked just fine just fill in the little holes um, with the wood filler when I'm filling in all the seams and it should be perfect all in all, this project of making over this island has not been that difficult at all. Um, using the bead boards that I used, although some of them weren't the best quality, I still am glad that I went that route because it was much easier than buying the big panels of bead board and having to cut that down. I just would much rather use these that you just piece together. And then also updating these cabinet doors. This was also a very easy project. Um, if you don't have a saw of your own, you could always purchase these and have them cut them down for you at Lowe's if you can, before you go, figure out what, um, lengths you need them cut in. They can do that for you. Sometimes you just have to think outside the box if you don't have the right items, um, the ones that are what you would normally use for a project. Like these little strips here, you could easily cut these with even a hand saw, I would think. Um, and then maybe sand, sand down the edges to make sure they're good and smooth. Um, that was probably not the best way to do it, but if it's all you have, then go for it. You guys have been watching me work on this project over the course of several videos now. That would be something that would have driven me crazy before, and now I'm okay with it. I'm okay that it's taking me longer, that I'm taking my time with it, that I'm doing it the way that I want it done, and not just trying to rush through it, which is something I used to do, was to try to rush through things to get them finished so that I could have it all in one video. And I I just don't want to do that anymore. I think I've told you guys that in the last video. Like I don't want to do things halfway I want to get it done right and if that means taking more time with it then that's what I'm going to do. I hope you've enjoyed following along on this project and I hope that you like it at the end as much as I do. Okay I got all the trim put on it was pretty simple now I need to go in with some wood filler and fill in all the nail holes and all the little gaps um, where they meet together. I'm also going to sand down a couple of spaces where it's kind of rough from the last paint job, especially around where the um, the pools were. So I'm going to get started on that. Once that dries and I can sand down the wood filler, then I am going to paint. I'm so excited to paint this. Um, I think I told you guys that I am going to paint the whole thing over. We're going to go with the dry time, y'all. Let's go out on a limb and try something new. I think it's going to be really pretty. I just, I'm not loving the evergreen fog for whatever reason. I love that color in my bathroom and my bedroom, um, but it's just not doing it for me here in the kitchen. I want, I think I want more of a bold color. Let's just try it. Let's just, let's just do a caution to the wind <laughs> and let's do it.
really love how the island has turned out so far. Today, Ryan and I went to Home Depot and I picked up a butcher block countertop. So in the next video, you should be seeing me put that on with some help because this thing is super duper heavy. <laughs> I still haven't found the legs that I want to put on there yet, but I should be able to get the top put on at least. I took a little bit of footage from the day we went to the Habitat for Humanity store again. I'll be showing you some clips from that in the next video. And then we stopped here by this park. It's in Hendersonville, Tennessee. There were quite a few people here. It was a really pretty day. It looks overcast right here, but um, the clouds ended up parting and the sun came out and it ended up being a really nice day. It was pretty much perfect weather in my opinion. I like it when there's just a little chill in the air. And I don't know, it's just a perfect day to get out, take a walk, enjoy some sunshine and nature. Um, I can't wait to come back here again once the trees are all green and everything's all nice and pretty. It'll be a really nice space to come enjoy maybe a picnic or something. <laughs> about acai bowls for a while now and he makes fun of me because he doesn't understand why <laughs> I'm so obsessed with a bowl of fruit basically but it's just so good y'all I've told y'all over and over and over again <laughs> how much I love these things well I recorded these clips we went to a place in um, Hendersonville Tennessee called the acai addiction they have a really good acai bowls there and um, I wanted to let him try it as well. We just got one bowl and shared it, which was more than enough. And he was pleasantly surprised. So I think this might be a new tradition. We get acai bowls and go check out the park. All right, my friends, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me again today. Don't forget to check out Earth Breeze. Just go to earthbreeze.com slash LBN. That's going to get you 40% off your subscription. You guys have a great rest of your week. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.